Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Intuition Angel, getting ready to read for the sign of Aries right now. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind, this is just a general reading, okay? Um, energies can be reversed. Time is fluid. And if anyone needed a personal reading, my information is in the description box below there for you guys, okay? I would like to take the time to uh, thank all of my supporters here, all of my subscribers who take the time to watch, to like, to share, to comment. You know, I like everyone's comments. Um, I really appreciate it, guys. I took a small break and I'm all right now. But anyways, Aries, let's get one message for Aries from the Fairy Oracle. What's going on with Aries right now? Let me get a message for the sign of Aries, please, Spirit. What's going on with Aries right now for the beginning of December? All right, so we have Magical Gateway. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown, yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. I feel like a lot of you Aries are in this uh, energy. I'm sorry if you guys can't see the cards, but I'm going to be more um, visual with my words. Um, I'm, I'm really feeling a push with you guys, Aries. You guys can be starting a business, or you guys are just in this new um, energy of the unknown, of course. I feel like it has to do with things that you are unsure about, but you are very passionate about at the same time. I'm hearing that a lot of you could be in astrology or something like that. A lot of you guys could be into tarot now. We're pushing into a new age where a lot of people are starting to um, get into spirituality. And I think that's that's exactly what this is with that doorway here, Aries. I feel like a lot of you are uh, venturing into um, the door to spirit right now. So that's very interesting. We'll put that right there for you guys. I'm going to do the natural spread that I always do for all my signs. Here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This could also be the Cross Watchers energy too. Alright, let's see what's going on for the sign of Aries right now. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What's going on with Aries? All right, so we have the King of Pentacles here, Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. We have the Six of Wands, Fire. We have the Knight of Swords here, Air energy. With the Five of Wands, more Fire. We have the Ace of Wands here. We have the Hangman here, Pisces energy with the Hermit card. And then we have the Death card here. All right, so Aries. I really feel like someone is overcoming some sort of conflict and competition. They're separating themselves from it. From the fights, from the arguing, from the people involved here. Um, could be more than one person. In the midst of your energy here between you and this person that you're probably thinking about, we have the Knight of Wands with the, um, I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords with the Hangman here. That gives me the vibe of something being delayed because maybe someone wasn't seeing someone's point of view here. Um, I'm getting the vibe, Aries, that maybe this person was very impulsive with their words. Um, very harsh. This person is coming off as a king of pentacles, though. I really feel like they have obligations. They have things to take care of. Or this could be all your energy. Let's clarify this king of pentacles here for Aries. Why is the king of pentacles here for Aries? All right, so you have the Ten of Pentacles. So someone means business here. There's a masculine energy here, Aries, that means business. They want something stable, committed. Yeah, Six of Cups at the bottom. They could be a, um, a soulmate, someone that you have children with. A husband material type, Aries. Um, clarify the Six of Wands, please, for Aries. Someone rising and Venus signs. All right, so we have the Six of Swords. Someone is calmly moving away from conflict here that's also that's what i'm getting five of pentacles at the bottom i'm feeling someone feels left out in the cold someone misses someone here so this person right now if you're at a distance from someone they're going to come back but i feel like it all has to do with their 
their obligations, what they have to do. For some of you, this person could already be married, doesn't have to be, but I feel like maybe this person, they're just coming off as someone with a lot of obligations, things to take care of, and they're very focused on their money. Um, they want to put an end to something and start something new. What, what they're hiding from you is the death card. They're hiding from you their change. What you're hiding from them is the hermit card. You're hiding that you don't want to be bothered, basically. You're hiding that, well, you're not really hiding anything. You're just hiding yourself here with the hermit card. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. You're the High Priestess. I'm hearing maybe something like a secret came out for some of you guys, Aries. Doesn't have to be, but we have, all right, so we have that Hierophant at the bottom. This person has a spiritual connection with you, Aries. They want to come in. They have clarity about it. Or they're, not that they have clarity about it. I just feel like, Aries, they, they know what they want here. They're following their intuition. And they're going to come forward and they're going to say something to you. Let's clarify the death card here for Aries. Why is the death card here for Aries? All right, yeah, we have the Eight of Cups here. Yeah, I feel like someone's ending something and moving on to something else, starting something new. Nine of Swords at the bottom. Someone could be pretty stressed out about someone walking out, walking away. Aries, this could be you walking away. Whoever the masculine energy is, they're walking away from maybe a commitment, right, Aries, to something else. It's like they have they have high hopes of commitment with who they want to be with, but it's like they have to walk away from someone first. They have to walk away from something first before they can actually start something new. Let's clarify the Hermit, please, for Aries, Someone Rising, and Venus signs. You have the Nine of Cups. So whoever's the one is separating themselves, who's going into hermit mode, it's like they're doing it. <clears throat> it's like they're trying to figure out what makes them happy. We have the Five of Wands at the bottom here. They're trying to figure out what makes them happy because there's people around them that, that are just maybe after their money or maybe trying to get in their head. It's like there's too many cooks in the kitchen and this person has to separate themselves and be quiet in order to be able to know what the heck is going on right now. Um, because there's a lot of conflict here. Let's clarify the Five of Wands, please, for Aries. Why is the Five of Wands here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? Five of Wands. We have the Two of Pentacles here. Yeah, juggling two things, maybe two people, two ideas. Someone is very conflicted here. Yeah, it's like they have to go deep within. They have to get away so that they can think. And I think that's what they're doing right now, Aries. Or this could be you. All right, let's clarify this Ace of Wands, please, for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, so we have the Seven of Pentacles. They want to invest. Yeah, but here's the thing. You're just not um, up for it. I feel like you're willing to hear this person out, but you're just not willing to... You're being very tough. You know what you want. You have decisions you have to make. And this person has to be able to be serious with you. I think they are serious. It's that they have to realize they have to walk away from something first. Let's clarify the hangman for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Ah, the Queen of Wands. Um... With the Queen of Wands and the Hangman, it kind of kind of gives me the vibe of you sort of coming up with your own ideas, but it's like you're telling this person you you you'll come together with them when you feel like it, right? It's like you're very bold and you know in your way of hanging around there and just waiting on this person to get it right. I feel like you separated yourself from this person because the way this person may speak to you some sort of immature communication or some sort of impulsive communication where this person is not exactly um, saying the right thing. It's like they, they say their truth, they speak their truth, but it's not what you want to hear. It's like it's not what you, uh, it's like you respect yourself too much to put up with what they 
with the words that they use. I'm hearing that they're using these words that you're just not resonating with. You're just not relating to what they're trying to say. And you're just like, you're just not trying to hear it right now. But this person is very conflicted. They're juggling back and forth. Um, I feel like you can be conflicted, but I think it all ha I think what you're conflicted about is what makes you happy. This person is conflicted on whether or not they should move away from these people. Take a how it resonates. What do we have for Aries, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, tr children, your love life is being affected by children. In the beginning, I said that maybe you guys have children together. This person does want to come in and give you that husband-like vibe where he takes care of the children. You guys, you know, um, yeah, healing family issues is at the bottom. So, yeah, this person wants to heal their family issues with you. Let me get two more for Aries, please. That has to do with your eyes' as children. Get this one. Yeah, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. You have this person in limbo right now waiting on you. I think, Aries, someone has this person waiting on them. And it has a lot to do with your own confidence. It's like you're really bold. You're attractive. You know what you're doing with this person here. So you're just letting this person wait. All right. So we have true love that just popped out. And let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. This is a romance of the lifetime. So I feel like with the let your friends help you vibe, I get that for some of you, um, spirit is telling you to pray. I'm also hearing something about these people involved in the situation, you know, maybe getting in the way and they're just no help. You know, so, someone is, there's too many cooks in the kitchen for some of you here, but this is definitely a true love situation. All right, guys. All right, Aries, that was your reading. I hope I gave you some clarity. If I did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you in your next reading. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.